I knew I wanted to be in science, and I knew that I was good at biology and chemistry, and biochemistry just seemed like the natural choice that I could combine the two, but I didn't really realize how intricate everything was within the program until I got in there, and I didn't realize how much I loved it. The science professors here are all very open to their students. They're very student-oriented, and I think that's one of the best experiences that I've had at Whitewater. For example, Professor Camp. when I was a freshman, I went into his office hours and just asked him about his research, and after that, I walked out with a job in his chemistry lab. So I'm working with Robin on research that involves a family of proteins called chemokines. And it's really important in how the immune system functions and helping the body to fight off disease. And it also plays a role potentially in cancer metastasis. Not only is it important in how the body fights off disease, but maybe how cancer spreads. Her to not only have that hands-on experience, but then see how scientists work together to write up a publication and submit that to a journal and, and ultimately uh, publish what they found. I've gained so many more experiences than I would have probably at a different university. So that's been something that I've been able to put on my resume and that's something that I'm always asked about whenever I go in for an interview is, oh, what do you do for research? And I don't think I would have had that opportunity if I'd gone anywhere else. I can actually take the things that I've learned and apply them to real life. So for example, I'm a competitive weightlifter and I can look at protein supplements and um, different vitamins and whatnot and look at those and determine what is the best for uh, myself and what is the best for you know um, my colleagues and my other athletes in there and I can give them you know a scientific backed proof as to why this supplement is probably better than another one uh, just based on the classes that I've taken here. When I came to W Whitewater and I saw that they had a lifting team, I didn't realize it was an Olympic lifting team. And I didn't realize that I was gonna be really, really good at what I did um, because of the effort that I put in and the time and the concentration that I put in while I'm on the platform. A lot of the uh, big weightlifters and big powerlifters and bodybuilders in the gym, we all kind of know each other. You know you always have someone to cheer you on on your you know, PR attempt lift. Um, and so that's always been something that I've treasured about Whitewater. Yeah. It gives me that passion outside of science. I'm, I'm very passionate about science, but I need you know, another connection too. I want to eventually go on to get my master's or PhD. And there are several universities around um, the United States that do offer Olympic lifting scholarships. Right now, I have qualified for the Arnold Classic, which is University Nationals. I've also additionally qualified for U25 Nationals, which is in Las Vegas. I want to, you know, at least qualify for the Olympic trials and compete against some of the best athletes in the world. When you get on the platform, nothing else matters. It's you and the bar. That's, that's all that matters. It's you and the weight. And are you going to let that weight conquer you or are you going to conquer the weight? And so that's, I think, why I've liked weightlifting so much. And that's also why I think I can go into my academics with that same mindset is, am I going to let you know, my classes conquer me or am I going to conquer my classes? It's that mindset that I get from weightlifting and my academics. I just want to see how far I can get. I want to, I want to push the boundaries.